Well, a belated congratulations on the engagement. Yeah, there's the ring. It's so big, it turns around all the time. I have to wear a band with it to try and keep it in place. Well, I feel like uh, come a wedding day, a band will come that will uh, yeah, we'll get it up. Yeah, we'll yes. add a, for the wedding next year. We'll add a band on top, and then I'll just be blinged out because this isn't enough, you know. Yeah, you can't see that at all. I, I, it's just I don't know what it is about you, but it's like people will not let you be happy. The ring comes up, you're like, well, it's not a diamond. I'm like, can we let this girl live? Yeah, my my daughter's birthstone <laughs> is a diamond. We're gonna be buying them for the rest of our life. I've already had a diamond. I didn't need a diamond, nor did I want one. I love Morganite stones and this one, it's exactly what I wanted. So I don't care what anyone else thinks about it because it's it's bigger than what I wanted. I will say that, but it's what I wanted. <laughs> I think it was bigger than what I wanted too. <laughs> and was Jan was like, hey, I've got this great stone. It's just a little bit bigger than what you said. I was like, Oof. I said eight carats. He said nine to 10. Kyle's like, how about almost 13? <laughs> will we get to see the engagement on the show or is that a private off camera moment? Unless they cut it. <laughs> <laughs> okay. It was filmed. Okay. <laughs> it was filmed. You guys will see. It was just an intimate moment between me and Sheena that we had in our place. With a full camera crew. With a full camera crew. <laughs> in as intimate as reality TV. As intimate, yeah. as moments as intimate as my, our new life is. Yeah. Now. That's, that is intimate. Yeah. I want to unpack that, but I have a couple more engagement wedding questions before we okay. get into the show. Will yeah. you wear another crop top wedding dress? Yes. He asked me that too. I... I don't think so. Why not? You made it iconic, didn't you? Yeah, but I already did it. You want me to repeat what I did the first time? We could just do it better. I could do it better. So that's the, the crop top, pearled crop top, two piece wedding dress. That is the ugliest effing wedding dress I've ever seen in my entire life. If you want me to get married in a crop top, honey, I'll get married again in a crop top. Perfect. <laughs> Sheena, you were one of my last in-person interviews before the world shut down. He wants nothing to do with the show. Your intention was to keep Brock away from these cameras, to <laughs> not have him become as integrated as a cast member as he is in yeah. season nine. Oh Other God. than the world changing, how did you come to this decision that like this was the right move to make? I believe that if this was 2020 and we started filming in May, like we normally did, I wasn't ready to put a six month relationship on national television. I learned my lesson with Brock. I mean, huh, Brock. <laughs> Freudian slip. <laughs> At least it was that way around, right? <laughs> <laughs> I just, uh, putting that relationship on the show so soon, it, it, I didn't want to do that again. And Brock, what kind of convincing did it take for you to say yes? Was it an immediate yes, or did Sheena have to put in a little work to get you to no, say it was, this? No, it wasn't. It was just, I was all supportive of Sheena. Like, when it came time, the year and a half later, I was like, yeah, babe, I've got your back. Let's put our best foot forward because it's such a great platform. I didn't have to twist my arm too hard to do it with her, <laughs> but it, it was definitely a learning experience, but I kind of, I think I did the right thing. What surprised you about the experience? Because it's one thing to hear Sheena talk about it. It's one thing to watch the edited episodes come out. It's a whole other thing to see, film that, it and live it. it. We're, we're still in, we, we just filmed. So now I get to see the edits come out. So that's why I look forward to seeing, but hey, you know what? It was good. He also learned the hard way that anything you say off camera to a cast member will then be brought up on camera, so. Yes, the yeah. reality TV rule number one, there are no secrets to be exactly. kept. This season on Vanderpump Rules. When the trailer came out, did your stomach drop or was it like, oh, it's a relief because now it's out in the world? Well, that's the thing. It's obviously, it goes personal with me, with my family, especially my, my ex and my kids. And so that's something that's going to come back and that's going to be an issue to deal with. Brock has two kids. He hasn't spoken to them in four years. Sheena gave me some pointers and I didn't listen to any of her advice at all. <laughs> and uh, I just did it, did it how I thought it would be the best version. That was tell my story. So I did that. Um, and through the season, you'll get to see that. Um, but yeah, when it came out, I was like, here we go. Like, but you know what? We've all got past and you guys will, you guys will hear about mine and get to know me. So and regardless, someone's going to have an opinion. So good on Always. them. Yeah, what you're referencing there is this moment that we've seen in the trailer of Lala saying that you have not spoken to your children in years. Yeah. Which I, I assume we're gonna get your side of the story and your response to that, but what do you want people to know now headed into the season? Anything you want to clear the air about? Yeah, I think uh, the biggest one is just like, these are kids we're talking about here, right? So the fact that it's even a conversation shouldn't be a conversation. 
there should be a rule when kids are involved you don't bring kids into it so if you're low enough to bring kids into it then do you boo boo do you boo boo okay <laughs> the there is speculation slash rumor this is the other thing you're going to get used to is all the fan accounts having thoughts opinions feelings and assumptions about you um but one of the preseason ones is that you fill the jacks taylor sized hole on this cast and maybe cause a little drama. i'll take that <laughs> you'll but take I, it okay <laughs> I, would, I, I would take that because i know for a fact that even the, even talking to the old cast like they, there was definitely a different vibe this season these are nine years of friendships where they've really been tested and now they're trying to grow and evolve as individuals and that's where my aspect comes in and so i really enjoy that especially this season so if that meant being confronting somebody about some things that's because we have strong opinions and i think that kind of comes across this season real quick you said the the evolution of the show this is a different vibe it is in the premiere we're breaking the fourth wall and doing the thing the hills never did which was address that you guys have become famous there is a world outside of the show mm -hmm. First episode? In the first episode, we are talking about podcasts and saying things on yeah. podcasts and, you know, oh, yeah. moments. Finally, my podcast is mentioned. Yes, <laughs> getting to bring those parts of your world and address this reality you live in on reality TV. Is that exciting to you now that to finally get to do it? Yeah, I feel like long time coming. It's unfortunate the reason why it's mentioned is because I opened my mouth instead of picking up a phone and calling a friend. It's really exciting to just see us working on real things, then fighting over which table you're gonna take in the restaurant and whose birthday are you gonna go to because they have the same birthday. And it just, it's a lot deeper this season. It's very real. I think, I and, think it, and, and, and you don't lose the sense of what you guys were, which was a group of guy, kids that wanted want to grow up, right? But you still have the influence with Lisa around. Lisa is a big influence, even on me. She's a huge influence then, and, and you do get to see a bit more of the realer stuff because you can't hide that anymore. And I think for those of us who have been on the show for so long, when you take the restaurant aspect away from us, you really get a deeper dive into us that I don't think you've ever really seen on the show. So do you not pick up a single shift at Sir this season? Not one. Me and new, bar <laughs> me and new bartender right here. Bye -bye. I, I did want to get on the bar and do some good as gold, <laughs> but it. I missed my opportunity. Always season 10. <laughs> Turn down a good, 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 good as gold live performance. <laughs> um, you mentioned this drama with Lala. Um, Sheena just invited me to her birthday party. Hmm. Are you gonna bring Lala? Have you spoken to her about it at all, like with Lala and the whole situation? I don't think she understands how upsetting that was, that she wasn't there for me during my miscarriage because she had dinner with celebrities. So you'll see a lot of that play out. And well, the second and she comes for him, then that's a whole other issue. So I'm like, I don't come for your man. I protected that relationship when her and I first met. So for her to not do the same for me, you will see that play out. Okay, so we're like going on an upward trajectory. She makes these comments about Brock, it goes down, but I can only assume it's gone back up because we've seen that Ocean and Summer have hung out yeah. together. And Lala even told me last time I spoke to her that she doesn't think she could have done this season without you because you were the only person who understood exactly the feeling she was going through as a new mom filming a show. Same, it helped so much having that support, having someone else who's been through the exact same thing. It definitely, it definitely added to you guys' friendship too. Yeah. Rebuilding that friendship, it was rebuilt on a different bond this time. Yeah, and we want our daughters to grow up being friends. You know, we don't want our petty issues to hold back them from being friends eventually. I mean, they're already friends. They just don't know it yet, really. They don't know it yet, yeah. yeah. Um, we see in the trailer, you get emotional. I like want to go home to my baby. I don't even want to be here anymore. What is the biggest difference between filming not as a mom and filming as a mom? Let me just say, if I ever get invited to another tea party, I will not be going. <laughs> <laughs> not one, but two explosive tea parties this season. I'm like, yeah. tea parties. When there is like this petty drama of like, you haven't been there for me. That's the exact situation that happened with one of the girls was like, well, you haven't been here for me. And I'm like, because I had a baby. So like, I just wanted, <laughs> at that moment, I'm like, 
why am I sitting here eating a macaroon and sipping tea? I want to go home to my baby. This is like such, and, uh, but welcome to our friend group, you know? <laughs> well, now I feel like Summer is probably becoming a little person, like yes. a little human. You want to see her? Yeah. Do you ever look at her and be like, I popped out myself? Yes. She looks exactly Literally, like you. <laughs> looks exactly like me. Like when I was a baby. Oh my gosh. So Sometimes I just Hi. get her and I'm like, oh my God, that was me as a baby. Look right there. Look, baby. <laughs> look at you. Tell She's me. already a pro. She's got, oh, and she says, I'm over it. No fame, no questions. <laughs> She's been pretty good at keeping her mouth shut, you know? Or like, don't, you know. <laughs> Gotta say, stay tuned. <laughs> Summer Moon, honey, my little angel. I know not all babies are as cute as you. Getting back to the drama of season nine, it seems that Lala is the ultimate pot stirrer this season, true or false? True. We also see her and Ariana starting off the season on maybe the worst foot of all. Did that <laughs> surprise you that they were in it in that way, and it seems to not get any better over the course of the season. No, because Ariana really had my back and knew every detail of the situation that happened, and she just wasn't standing for it. So it was like, sure, Sheena, you can make up with her, but like, I haven't forgot everything. And then the day of my birthday party, that morning, a podcast comes out of Lala trashing Ariana, saying, I don't give a about you you don't care about me like why are we pretending and ariana's like i actually did give a about you until now so that was like her own issues with her on top of how she treated me i'll teach you how to be cool later bitch. oh babe i was born cool. who disappointed you the most lala just well, because because it, of the brock thing or more than yeah that? i just it was something that as a stepmom with you know two kids who are left off the show i just was hoping that she would have that same respect for Brock as we all have for Randall. So that was definitely very disappointing. I think that's a good point you just made of, that's the respect everyone has for Randall and his children who are not on the show. Yeah, it was just kind of like a double standard there. And it was like, just because Brock, you know, signed up for this, kids should still be off limits. And yeah. we respect that, so why don't you? And that was the argument. I think you'll see that play out. That was definitely the argument I was coming. So we'll see. We'll see how it shakes out. There was, of course, the baby boom between seasons. <laughs> and some of these babies and their parents are no longer on the show. They're not. It's not addressed in the first episode. Do you know if there are conversations you had about where your friends who are no longer on the show are, or are we acting like they're Voldemort and cannot be named? <laughs> That's the thing. I mean, we spoke about them all of the time because they're still a part of our life. And we definitely spoke about people who are no longer going to be around. Like at Britney's baby shower, I was so nervous to see Stassi and Lala and like, you know, just like talking to Lala at Britney's baby shower. But I don't know what will be left in. It was definitely addressed just because they are such a big part of all of our real lives still. Right, and it seems that some of those relationships have grown because of motherhood. I mean, you and Stassi, ah. Hartford and Summer are all hanging out, which is nine years ago. I don't think we would have thought that would be the case. Um, no. What's it like to navigate those friendships without the cameras around? Is it easier? I think so, actually. Yeah, like 100%. Stassi and I, I think we're probably the closest we've ever been now. and the babies and going through, you know, giving birth and labor and all of that definitely brought us closer and being able to talk to someone who's going through the same thing or someone who's just been through it and get advice from one another has definitely brought us a lot closer. Do you know how they feel about no longer being a part of the show? Are they at peace with that? Or is it still like, maybe they have a little FOMO? Mm. I think that's a question for them. Yeah. Okay. I'll take that answer. We got a lot of season to watch. Yeah. Um, is there anything you're very excited for the viewers to experience that you're like, I cannot wait till this airs? Our relationship, honestly, like I've never been so excited to have a relationship on this show because this just feels the most real of any I've ever had. I mean, I know it is like, this is my person. I finally- I thought it was gonna be the match. TV. What? I thought it was me hanging a TV in front of me. <laughs> you can do it in five. You can do it in, okay. It's coming to you, so you'll see that one. <laughs> There is, we do reference the seven minute TV hanging in the premiere. Yeah, so. 
There's a lot this guy can do in under seven minutes. <laughs> Make a baby. Making a baby was one of them. <laughs> I was gonna say this is going somewhere. I know it is. Um, on the flip side, is there anything you're dreading reliving, or anything the audience should be bracing for impact for? All of the Lala drama, um, honestly, because it was you know we started off and we're like, okay, we're gonna just move past all of this, and then it takes a turn. You know, obviously, it's no secret that we're in a good place now, so it's just going to be hard reliving all of that but just knowing where we are i think it'll be very interesting for people to see i don't think it's like oh spoiler i don't want to watch it because i know they're friends now it's like but getting back to where we are now was not an easy road whatsoever